Welcome to my channel. Before I proceed, I would like you to like this video, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. Having said that, today's uh, question is for us to find the value of a and b, given that 6 raised to power a plus 6 raised to power b is equal to 42 for equation 1 and a plus b is equal to 3. So how do we go about this? Let's first of all multiply equation 1 by 6 raised to power b or 6 raised to power a if we like. Let's multiply equation 1 by 6 to power a. So it becomes 6 raised to power a multiplied by 6 raised to power b plus 6 raised to power b multiplied by 6 raised to power b will give us 42 times 6 raised to power b. Now, if we apply law of indices, here we have 6 raised to power a times 6 to power b will become 6 to power a plus b. Because if I have x raised to power y multiplying x raised to power z it will give me x raised to power y plus z yes y plus z that is what i applied here now here becomes plus 6 raised to power 2b equals to 42 multiplied by 6 to power b now let me simplify this let me bring this one first this is 6 to power 2b and plus 6 to power a plus b is equal to 42 times 6 to power b. Let us remember that equation 2, in equation 2, we are given a plus b is equal to 3. So I will substitute 3 for a plus b here. Then 6 to power 2b plus 6 to power 3 is equal to 42 multiplied by 6 to power b. Now, 6 to power 3 is 216 because 6 times 6 times 6 is 216. So, 6 to power 2b plus 216 is equal to 42 times 6 to power b. Let's bring this one to the other side. So, that becomes 6 to power 2b minus 42 to power 42 multiplied by 6 to power b then plus 216 is equal to 0. So we have an exponential equation. To solve this, we need to let 6 to power b is equal to x. Having said that, here becomes 6 to power, sorry, here becomes x to power 2 minus 42 times x plus 216 is equal to 0. I have a quadratic equation and I can use any of the form, uh, methods for solving quadratic equation. I can use the formula method, I can use the factorization method, or I can even use the graphical method. I will use the factorization method. So I will put my sum, my sum is minus 42x, and the product, the product is 216x squared. So I will look for two numbers that I will add or subtract to give me 42 and which if I multiply I will have 216. Those numbers are 6 and 36. So what I have here should be x squared minus 6x minus 36x minus 6x minus 36 will give me minus 42x then plus 216 is equal to 0. So I will now group this um, quadratic expression. In the first bracket, what I have is x as common factor. I will bring the x as common factor out. It will remain x minus 6. In the second bracket, I have minus 36 as the factor. So let me bring it out. Minus 36 here remains x minus 
6 is equal to 0 because this times this is this and minus times minus is plus. 36 times 6 is 216. These two brackets are the same. I will take one of the brackets, then put these other ones into a bracket. That becomes x minus 36 is equal to 0. So I will equate the bracket now to 0. My x minus 6 is equal to 0 or x minus 36 is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to 6 or x is equal to 36. But this is not the final answer. Let us remember that when we were solving, we made an, as, an assumption. 6b is equal to x. So let's use this now to find the value of b. So when, when x is equal to 6, let's remember that 6b will now be equal to 6. And this is 6 raised to the power 0, m1, because 6 to the power 1 is 6. So b will be equal to 1, because this 6 will cancel this 6, as this is raised to the power 1. Also, when x is equal to 36, so 6 to the power b will now be equal to 36. Then 6 to the power b will now be 6 raised to the power 2. This is also equal to this. They will cancel out. So b is equal to 2. So I have the value of b here. But what are the values of a? When a, when b rather, when b is equal to 2, what is my a? Let's remember that a plus b is equal to 3. So a plus 2 will now be equal to 3. And a is equal to 1 because 3 minus 2 is 1. And when b is equal to 1, a plus b is equal to 3. That becomes a plus 1 is equal to 2. And a is equal to... Sorry, this is 3 here. And a is equal to 2. So the answer is when b is equal to 1, a is equal to 2. And when b is equal to 2, a is equal to 1.